Welcome back. In the previous lecture, we introduced Q functions and the Bellman equation for deterministic systems. If you remember, the key idea behind dynamic programming is that we can iteratively update the Q values to compute the optimal policy. So right now, we covered all the materials so that we can start exploring the process of Q function iteration, which is a systematic way of improving the Q values through iterative updates based on the Bellman equation. And the, the process continues until the Q values converge at, converge, at which point the optimal policy can be extracted. All right, so um, this is the Markov decision process setup. We have transition function. We have reward. Uh, we have an action based on a policy and the reward function. Uh, the Bellman equation from the previous lecture is looking like this. Um, it is recursive since it depends on S prime, A prime, which represents the next value of S and A. And we extract optimal policy by uh, argument max, uh, using argument max of this uh, Q uh, function after it converges. So basically, um, if you remember, um, the process, basically Q function iteration, um, has three steps. The first step, we start with an initial guess for the Q function. Uh, typically, typically, this is done by setting the Q values to some arbitrary values. Often I use zeros, sometimes I use randomized uh, if I would like to uh, spice up the initial. Um, starting and without loss of generality, I am going to set it to zero uh, for all. This is for all S and alpha. So, say you have uh, five states, two actions, then five by two, you are going to have a five by two Q matrix, or sometimes this is called as the Q table simply. And Step two, we update the Q values. So basically, basically the next value of Q, K plus one, um, coming from the immediate reward plus gamma uh, discount factor, max A prime, S prime, and A. Basically, using the previous value um, of QK, we are going to update QK plus one. So this is the basically how we are going to update. And we repeat until convergence and how we can capture convergence, the next value of Q minus the Q value, uh, uh, previous value of, uh, current value of K is less than an epsilon for all state and action pair. And once it is an epsilon is like 0 0.01, 0 0.001 type of a constant, once Q values converge, they represent the optimal Q table so that you can extract the optimal policy by using this uh, equation. All right, I am going to um, compute, do this iteration by hand. I am to do by hand, I am going to consider a super simple example and throughout these lectures we are going to uh, look at much more complex examples as well but it is good to start simple so uh, we have three states one two and three three represents the terminal state alpha action is minus one and one let's say robot is at one and chooses my and action is minus one it goes left so it minus one stands for left and R stands for right. And this is the transition function. Basically, if robot is at one, state one, and the action is minus one, you cannot really go to this side. So basically, uh, it doesn't change uh, its state. On the other hand, if robot is at two, and the action can be anything, go left or right, um, it either goes right this is two and let's say uh, action is one then its state becomes three if it is minus one it goes here 
and if robot reaches its terminal state it will stay there regardless of the um, action and um, since I am a controls person I have a typo here which we can correct immediately so okay so usually we use X to represent states so this should be s s plus a s this is s this is a this is this is s and this is s and finally this is we are going to define reward s and a so um, we usually use again x for states and u for controls but within the reinforcement learning i am using sna um, reward wise reward is reaching terminal state basically so if robot is at state 2 and decides to go right a1 then we are going to reward 5 otherwise there is no reward all right we set up the model um a mark of decision uh, process and now I am proceeding with the first iteration uh, remember this is the immediate reward I am going to choose 0.9 as the um, as our basically discount factor and this is the maximum of uh, two values in this setting coming from this um, Q table all right so first I am going to compute this is s this is a so we are at state one and we choose uh, we would like to go left no reward discount factor and we have you know two zero values we, there is no need to look at right now in the first iteration basically um, robot doesn't change it is uh, it's basically position since it, it is at first state and goes here so this is zero and this is zero and this is zero so robot is at one and would like to go right robot is at one and would like to go right then it ends up having at state two but again q zeros are all zero so q zero this is zero zero and we have zero same for here at state two would like to go left and it arrives basically to the first state again remember this is s prime this is s prime and this is s a prime this is a prime so it is zero finally robot is at two and would like to go right action is one right it gets an immediate reward five and this is zero zero so after the first iteration q values for different states and action pairs becomes zero 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 and five now we do the second iteration again robot is the first state would like to go to left but um, you cannot so it remains s prime remains the current state so these are still right this one this one are still zero so we have zero zero and zero so we look at Q2, robot is at uh, the first state and would like to go to the right. So it's end up become, you know, it, it is, uh, it goes to the second state S prime. And looking at second states, this value one, uh, it is zero. Looking at this, however, this is five so five we are choosing maximum zero or five we are choosing five multiplied by 0 0.9 we have 4.5 if we do this for the other states i think you got the story i don't uh, need to repeat this you get zero and you get five now if you continue doing this for the third iteration you are going to have four zero four point oh five remember you know let's do it one more time so robot let's do it uh, let's do it for this one robot is at the second state and would like to go to left no reward and looking at these q2 one minus one and one one values let's look at here 
um, sorry, what was that? Uh, one minus one and one one. One minus one and one one. One of them is zero. One one of them four point five. Choosing the maximum, four point five multiply all by nine. You are going to get four point zero five. We did it by hand. Of course, it is impossible to do when we have large action state. Uh, we do this by computer, and next I will provide a code for this purpose. But before we move on, the four states, one and two actions, basically, you know, this is higher than this one. So argument max chooses action one, going right. And if we are on state two, um, this is larger than the other number you have. Argument max chooses action one. So the optimal policy is if you are at state one, go right. If you are on state two, go right. For this super simple problem, um, uh, we converge again after the third iteration. If you do the fourth iteration, these numbers will not change. It's a simple problem I choose so that I can do it by hand. All right, so this is the MATLAB code. Um, um, you can take the screenshot, code it yourself. Um, I have a policy not to share the exact code with you guys, but you know you can see the code so that you can type yourself. Typing the code is a learning experience. That's why I do it like this. If you like, you can try this. You know, you can increase the number of states. Uh, at this point, you know, you can maybe add action zero, stay where you are. But remember, you also need to change some parts of the code. So this is the Q um, table, and this is the reward mechanism. If you are at state two and take the action one, basically you are getting five. Um, I wrote transition dynamics a little bit different than I described, but it does the same thing. Maybe a better way is to write the transition dynamics like this. So I cheated a little bit without loss of much generality. Basically, it says if you are at one and take uh, minus action minus one, next as as next is one. Basically, you stay in state one if left is the action, and if you are at uh, state one, take action one, you go right. Next state becomes two. If you are at two and action is minus one left, you become one. The same for here. Reward function is called here. And this is the Bellman update for the Q value. I am checking convergence. I mean, here I choose three iterations. If you choose here 100 iterations, algorithm will stop because I have this, you know, one that once the algorithm is converged, I stop. And then this is how you extract optimal policy from the Q table and the rest is displaying the results. So I run this, and be, so these two zeros are not important really because they represent the third state, but the game is over on the third state. So uh, if you look at this two by two portion, is this is exactly how we calculated by hand. And when you extract optimal policy, left is minus one, R is one, it is one, one. So if you are on the first state, go right, second state, go right, so that you can reach to your terminal state. All right, perfect. So uh, in code and by hand, um, probably this was the last example I do by hand, since uh, it is hard, it will be harder as we progress. Maybe one more, who knows? But uh, we are going to see more codes and more MATLAB examples. And we are done, thanks.